So, uh, we would like to, to make something different, make it like a kind of gallery, and we call it like a the gallery and the museum of to, in the way to show well a, a process that that we were, that, that I'm going to to explain the next. Um, so part part of this was to ask to ourselves about the situation. The situation was the situation that happened in the DK. The DK is a part that is in the north part of of, of uh, Colombia and works like a, actually something to provide of water and a way to go out of the country to the Caribbean Sea. But there was something that, that, that happened in 2010 that, that was our problem and the problem that we want that, that we make the research. When we, when, we, when we saw it, we saw that there was actually a lot of situation that I'm going to explain the next, but the first, my, my partner is going to present the, the, the art. Um, hello, my name is then Lena Gomez, um, the name, uh, the work, the, the name, uh, my work of the art is the beginning, the beginning of the art. So something that, that, that we're planning to, to show here is when the situation happened. For the next, I'm going to explain you what, 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 what happened at, at, at the moment, what does, because every single situation in the climatic change is actually something that happened in, when you close and open your eyes, and actually you don't have the time to realize. That was the, the, that's why the, the governments and the people need to prepare for this kind of situation. And that is something that don't happen in Colombia. So the, the beginning of darkness is of course, is of course like a, a piece of art that shows us uh, in a face the pain that have someone in exactly that moment. What was the situation? Because it was in November of 2010, one of the most a complicated years that uh, have the uh, how to say the the Nina, then we have a lot of rains. But specifically in, in this area, having this kind of situation. But why this situation? Why we need to be sensitive about this situation? Of course, the answer is because there was, as I told you, the, a, a process that the government ne the government never followed. And also, there was a process that, they, that the people never followed. I'm talking about to, to create the canal, the, the, the DK, in uh, 15, 1580, a lot of time ago, and then they make it. In, they, they, because we were part of Spain, we were waiting for the, like, to, the approve to, to make it better, to build it better or something like that. They give us the chance to do it in, uh, in one in, in 180, 180, 98 or something like that. We have it and we have like a kind of, uh, of financial steps. One of the problems in Colombia, in, in my, and I can talk properly about that because my, my career is business and international relations. So one of the problems in complex that was, I, that, that, that actually the economical part goes to be affected. That is one of the things that maybe Colombians don't think about to see it in the future, no? That is one of the things that is going to affect. So for the next we have... Uh, my name is Jorge Diaz. Uh, I am a um, uh, contemporary artist. My work represents a uh, one penny that after the event um, is pretty to life and death. Uh, 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 this uh, after the, the catastrophe. Uh, mm. and, well, when something that, that, that we feel that when we were made the research, but actually the humanitarian help comes. But, that is, but when, when that happens, it's have like, like a, a meaning that is not so useful, no? because we can think that actually the humanitarian help comes in the situation that already happened when something is actually something that we can control. And this is something that, that we don't have it. So they come, but they don't come to prevent, to see it, but to act in the moment that the, thing, that the things already happen. That's why the name, of the, the name of the piece of art is message of life in the of death. Uh, because uh, the principal effect uh, is the population near of the canal of the That was 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 the of the big struggles. Anyway. The, the situation cannot, can, cannot be solved because already because already happened. And the things that the government can say is that they feel sorry to maybe to ask for the next steps, for 
the maybe the international um, you know, or, or in, in the con in the international context for the different countries to help. And this is that always happened, no matter where it's the part. So that's why one of the things that is more 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 important is that actually there's no you can you can measure you can say that there's a, a scientific way. 2010 was a, was a place that around the world everybody knows that it's going to be hard. In the, it doesn't matter when, in which part of the world are you going to be. It, everybody knows. And in, in Colombia, according to the IDEA, IDEA I and all the institutions that control the weather, we know that that is going to happen. But what is going to happen is not, is not, is not only the weight, but also you see the focus parts that is going to be in risk. And this part was in risk like uh, 24 years ago. So, of course, when the situation happened, this was something that we can control. Uh, well, hello, my name is Sosa Martinez. Of my, uh, and my work, <laughs> and my work of art is called uh, Steve Towers Review, where the color is a new begin, begins for the town. I can think because my profession is related with that. And I'm, and I, like, in, in all my career, I have to create that kind of programs for the international cooperation to help in the different disasters that happen in Colombia, I can tell you how can be the solutions, how to, uh, to, to ask for that resources in the international community. But that is going to be helpful. I, I mean, that, that, that is the question. There's actually, we have the scientific part. We have the economical part because all the people want to help Colombia. Colombia is a really huge and important, and important country in the southern part of America. And they actually that helped. So in the moment that we make the research, we actually realize that. That's why we, we decide, we want, we, 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 we can show you kind of solution. We can say that actually one of the things that could, could help is to ask for the government to care more of that kind of things. And this is not the first time, that is something that is so curious, no? that is not, this is not the first time that this happened in this area. So one of the things that we can propose is actually to give the, the option to the government to help. To actually give all, all, also to the, to the community to think about it. To think and to ask for the government to do it. A kind of mix, the perfect mix between the policy and the people that is living there. But that is, doesn't happen. So at the final, we just have like a rebuilding or rebirth of the, of, of the town that, we, that, that, that is close to, to that place. It's also something that, that is not easy, easy to think. But at the final, as I told you, to give you a scientific solution or to give you the economical way to, uh, to ask for the resources is not necessary maybe when you can care more about the problem. That's it. <laughs>